Everyone's heard of Lethal Company. It's an incredibly popular survival horror game and was one of the most played games on Steam back in November. But how did an indie horror game come to be so popular? In this video, we'll explore the rise of Lethal Company. The developer of Lethal Company is an indie developer called Zekas. They started off making some relatively popular Roblox games such as Silent Dark and Lightbulb, the latter of which was nominated for Best Single Player Game in the 4th Annual Bloxy Awards, before making a switch to the Unity game engine and making their games there. They released their first Steam game, It Steals, on the 22nd of July 2020. After that, they released a few more games before working on Lethal Company. On the 1st of August 2023, Zekas released a reveal trailer for Lethal Company, amassing some hype before the final release on the 23rd of October, but no one could have imagined the success that Lethal Company would have. Lethal Company released into Early Access on the 23rd of October 2023, with the developer announcing plans for the game to reach completion by 6 months. Initially, it saw some success, with a peak of 4,023 concurrent players in the first month of release. This is a pretty impressive number for a game developed by a single developer, and eventually Lethal Company proved to be an incredibly successful game, with a peak play count of almost 240,000 players from November to December of 2023, and over 10 million copies sold in total. It was also a popular topic on Twitch and YouTube, and thousands of videos have been made surrounding the game. It was particularly viral thanks to the hilarious nature of the game, with funniest moments and modded clips being popular on YouTube and Twitter. Huge YouTubers and streamers such as Markiplier, Moist Critical and Smitty played Lethal Company, helping boost its popularity to new highs. This game has won and been nominated for several awards, such as Steam's Better With Friends Award and the Stream Game of the Year. As an indie game developed by just one person, Lethal Company certainly exceeded expectations. Another factor helping its success was its affordability. Lethal Company is priced affordably at $9.99, making it the perfect game to play with friends. The high stakes nature of the game paired with the proximity chat features makes gameplay hilariously unpredictable, which is perfect for creating viral moments. Also, a huge selection of Lethal Company mods were available using Overwolf's Thunderstorm mod manager, making this game even more chaotic. Before we move on, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you're enjoying so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Anyway. Back to the video. Today, while the game is far from the original success it saw in 2023, it is still very popular and far from dead. On average, the game receives somewhere between 15 and 20,000 players per day, with occasional surges of players where the player count will reach as high as 50,000 players. We can likely attribute this to the fact that the developer still consistently provides Lethal Company with content updates and new features. Just two weeks ago on April 13th, Lethal Company's most recent major update occurred adding three new entities and a new moon, a forest moon called Admont. This is exactly why the game manages to consistently achieve such high concurrent players. This and its loyal community. The Lethal Company community are very active across different platforms, helping the game thrive. With Seekers themselves saying they want to finish the game within six months, do you think that Lethal Company will ever reach the great highs it once experienced again? Maybe Lethal Company will break its own concurrent player count record when it exits early access and fully releases. We'll have to wait and see. What do you think of Lethal Company? Is it a good game? Let me know down in the comments. But that's all the time we have for today. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!